Hi, I'm Allie Reynolds with Allie's Organics. Today we're going to show you how to grow a butternut squash. So things that we're going to need are a, a, a good fertilizer with a high phosphorus count, and this one here is a fish bone mill. And we're going to need a shovel. And of course we're going to need the butternut squash plant. We're also going to need to have our soil worked before we plant our butternut squash. We want to add some compost to it. We want to add um, some peat moss and vermiculite if we have a compacted soil. Just want to get us a little hole here, Doug. Put a little bit of fertilizer in this. I'm putting in about a tablespoon to two tablespoons, working it in to the soil that's down there, covering it with just a little bit of dirt so that, this, that the fertilizer doesn't come in direct contact with the roots of this plant. Just going to put this guy in here. We're going to want to water it well. I like to water with a drip tape because it waters down deeply rather than just overhead watering. Then you don't get the mildews on plant on your squash plants that you normally would if you're overhead watering. So this just gives a deep watering. I also like to give it plenty of water while it's in its growing stage and developing a buds because it uses more. They are pretty heavy feeders, so I will continue to feed this about every three weeks. And all I need to do is just go about six inches away from the, the stem of the plant. Make myself a little trench, sprinkle a couple of tablespoons of the fertilizer, the same one that you used at the beginning, and then just cover it, and you can water this in well. And you'll want to do that about every three weeks. Some tricks of keeping some squash bugs away is sprinkling the diatomaceous earth around it, uh, but every time it gets wet, you have to reapply it. And another thing that, that's kind of new is sprinkling granule kelp meal around the plant. Just sprinkling it around because squash bugs don't tend to like the smell of it. You can also mulch this to help keep the soil moist. And you also want to have a big space for it because butternut squash will sprawl out. It'll sprawl out of this beds, but I can go ahead and kind of keep pushing it back in the bed so it's not in the walkway, which is kind of nice to not be walking on your, on your plant. Anyways, that's all there is to growing a butternut squash.